Good morning everybody, this is Talina in My Time at Porsche. We had a letter from Mint yesterday and there I am about to neglect my animals. Sorry matey, here you go. I have more bladefish for you. I know, technically I don't have to bribe them this much. Um, and bladefish is expensive, but... You know, some days you just gotta break out the good stuff for the puppy. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to go and find out what this mystery uh, thing is with mint. I think it was at what, 10 o'clock? And it was... Oh god, I really should write notes to myself for Merlin. Thank you, Merlin. Mint will wait for you at Central Plaza at 10 o'clock today. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad they added a reminder in. Let's go find Miss Lucy. We have two things for Miss Lucy. We want to uh, give her her Commerce Commission. Hi, Mr. Isaac. It's not a birthday book, but... Molly asked me a good question the other day. Uh-huh. It's, um, it's a, just a normal day book, Mark. Here you go. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. I reckon, Mr. Isaac, with all respect, you've probably got enough to paper your wall with now. Um, completely lost my track there. Alrighty. And we'll give Alice... Hi. Hey, how are you do doing? Do you see anything you like? I, I do. I bought something already. But I wanted to give you something you liked. Here you go. You're welcome. Actually, the other thing we forgot was we forgot to buy Antoine's flowers. And I found something that w went passably well with um, with Nora, but I haven't found uh, anything better yet. So, it's not 10 o'clock yet. Toby, Hello. I have your sunnies somewhere in my bag. <laughs> you know, maybe I should try giving him sunglasses instead of slingshots. He, that seemed to make him pretty happy. Oh, Jack, I've run out of snake boxes for you. Sorry. Miss Lucy. Oh, good, I've caught you before class. Here you go. Hi. You're welcome. And um, I'm not sure I should be giving you this before school, but uh, I heard you liked small daggers. How of you. I really like it. Oh, gosh, now I'm really worried. I just gave a teacher a small dagger before school started. Always a worry. Polly, do you like apricots? A good book, huh? Oh, I don't think I've got one on me. Here, try this. Ah, oh, you do like apricots. Ow. Dolly, do you like apricots? Ow! Toby hit me with a snowball! In the classroom with no snow in sight, you, young lady, are in trouble. I love it! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yeah, and don't take that as a reward for the snowball comment. Ow. Molly, how are you? You used to play with dolls? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure Molly doesn't like um, those. I'm actually going to try her with a scarf if I've got one. Oh dear, I don't. I wonder if she likes lemonade. No. <laughs> That's about the same reaction you'll get from now. I've given Toby a present. Jack? My sister is working on a novel. I've read it. It's really good. Oh, that is awesome. All right, how do you... I don't think he likes dried apricots. I'm pretty sure he doesn't like... Uh, man, what do you give Jack? You know, Petra likes toy robots. And actually, now that I look at it, I'm not seeing the boat in here, am I? So the robot is for Petra. I'm pretty sure Jack doesn't like flowers or he might like flowers but I don't think he wants a, a work gift while he's doing that oh man Jack you're so hard to choose all right let's see if he likes slingshots yeah no he's he's not a slingshot person Toby loves them Jack not so much <clears throat> I might just have to go find another um, snake in a box so I can steal its box for for Jack all right is it 10 yet it's getting close I wonder if I can initiate... Oh, hey. Mind having a seat? This might take a while. Okay. Thanks. Alright, where to start? Uh-huh. 
Well, see, at first, the only reason I was staying in Portia was to finish my work for Mr. Gale. Before I knew it, I had been here for such a long time. Mm -hmm. I'd even had a few jobs lined up in Highwind to take once I finished up here. But ever since we started getting close, I feel like something's changed. Oh. I've changed. Okay. But my career doesn't allow me to stay here even if I wanted to. It's complicated. Oh no, this is goodbye. So what does it mean? It means I don't have a job here anymore. All the projects are over. And if I can't support myself here, I'm going to have to leave Portia and you. <gasps> no! So... Uh... Okay, I won't let that happen. You can stay. I've imposed so much on you already. I'm not sure if I could ask you to do that. I probably won't be able to get work around here for a very long time. Asking you to wait would be selfish of me. Sorry this is kind of a downer. Oh. But I thought you needed to know. I'll wait through the next week to see if any new jobs come up at least. But if I don't have any luck, I'll have to... Oh, yes. I have to go talk to Mayor Gale. He's interfered with my life enough. So, um, I'm going to go and interfere with his. So mean. That's so sad. He is breaking up with me. I'm not sure how... Actually, I know how I feel about that. That's not good. Poor Talina. I know, normally I chop down some trees, but... Oh! You look a little grim. What's the matter? Uh-huh. Your, your nephew. Min might have to leave town if he can't get another job. Technically, that's true. But don't worry, I have a plan. Uh-huh. I'm planning to make Mint my assistant. Portia is seeing rapid development, and I'm getting swamped. Mint is just perfect for the job. Oh, I haven't good. told him just yet. He did uh, look a little down recently, so that's why. Seems like he really cares about you. He never had trouble moving around before. Okay. Mint's too shy. Sometimes he needs someone to give him a little push. Don't tell him just yet, okay? I'm going to furnish his workplace first and give him a good old surprise. Want to give me a hand? Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. I need you to build me a work desk, a desk lamp, and a bookshelf. Okay. Should be a w After finishing these, place them on the other side of the town hall. All right, I can do that. The other side of his office. A large office desk and a desk lamp. All right. Oh, I feel better because now I'm not giving him a job or making one up but the mayor already had one in mind for him so that's kind of cool Whew. I mean I could have just traveled with him that's that that would be an option right but then I guess because I could find a job anywhere as a work as a, as a builder but that would mean leaving Porsche I think that might be beyond the scope of the game okay let's go out to collect all of these and uh Looks like my backpack is full again. My gosh, who'd have guessed? Alright, and we'll just get out of that and go over here to E. Uh, e, I, sorry, into our inventory. And we'll right click on that lamp. Blade of Malice, so I need to sell that. Alrighty. And then. What? See, this is one scenario I haven't played. I usually play, um, because I, I don't like multiple, like dating more than one person at once. For each character <laughs> I've ever dated or married in game, I've actually had to have a new character to do it with. So, uh, this one is new for me. What am I making? A desk lamp, I guess. So this is why I've played so many hours, because I've, I've wanted to see how all the different scenarios um, pan out. And... Yeah, <laughs> that's how it's gone. Let's go. Where's my desk lamps hiding? Wait a minute. No, it doesn't come up as a mission. Oh, I was hoping. Alright, somewhere in here. You would think I could find these things by now. There we go. Alrighty, I can make, I don't know, let's make 10 of them, just because we can. What else have I got to make? Uh, a work desk and a bookshelf. Alrighty, I know where those are. Well, okay, I know where the bookshelf is. I 
thing. All right, we might as well make 10 of those and sell the extras. I think the prices were still up a little bit. Ooh, that looks pretty. I can't make 10 of those. We'll just make five of them. That's a pretty good selling price too. Okay. Oh my. Well, that was quick. We have enough to fill the mission. So why don't we go do that? Well, at least Mint, you know, had the courage to say so. I mean, you know, some guys would just kind of leave and not bother saying goodbye because it was too painful for them. So there you go. That's that's an upside, I suppose. It's a bit drastic. Let's go pop these in. Install the work desk. And install the desk lamp. And install the bookshelf. Oh, that is so cool. That is a really nice spot. Uh-oh, I feel a cutscene coming on. Oh no. Let's just take a screenshot of that. That's pretty pretty. Wait for mint. Okay. I guess. Hey! Hey, it's all done. My son Gust is nothing like me. Uh-huh. Well, except for his talent and good-looking face. <laughs> uh-huh. Nice. I have for you. Well, I won't give you an office desk because you already have a nice one. I'll give you a tea table though because you always seem to like them. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're really welcome. Okay. Oh, that is a nice little workspace too. He's going to love that. It gives him a, um, a home. All right. What am I going to do for the rest of the day? Up from stare at the door and press the wrong key. I guess I could go find a commission. Hi, Gust. Ah, oh, Min's news has thrown me completely off. They did some really good scenes for him. Two leather belts for 111 and 1602. Or 111 and 1416. You know what? We'll go with, with Arlo's commission. Okay. And I haven't made Paulie any tea, and I still haven't given Oaks his um, his stew. And I don't know if he wants it now, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, Albert hasn't got his pot plant. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Gus certainly knows how to teach their piggy. Yes, he does. Here you go. Have uh, one of these. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. So, Asteria pots are really useful. Hey, Mr. Ack. Hi. Mr. Django showed me around his Oh no, and I haven't made you any more pots. I'm really sorry. I still need to find a cooking recipe number one. Actually, why don't we head down to the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the research center for two reasons. I mean, I've got the leather belts on me, so we can, anytime we see Arlo, we can drop that off. But uh, the research center. Ow! Oh man, I forgot what I came here for. <laughs> okay, first things first. I, I did forget we needed another. Yeah, I'm gonna buy another ten of these. Ah, oh, that's right. Oh no, I maybe shouldn't have done that. Oops. All right, because what I was after was a uh, cooking chip number one, and now if they have one, I'll be sad. But they don't, so I'm good. If you ever miss any of the recipes for a mission. Uh, this is where you can come and they will eventually be for you to purchase for discs. So never fret, you can get all of the recipes for your Steam Achievement by uh, coming this way no matter what missions you miss. You just have to do a bit of digging. Speaking of uh, digging, let's go talk to Petra. Hey! Hello. If it wasn't for the interesting work at the research center, I'd rather sleep in like the polar bears. Uh-huh. Well, I have two things hopefully for you, but I can only give you one. So where's that toy boat gone? See, it vanishes from the giftable objects. Okay, so I will give her a toy robot instead because she loves it these. It really is a nice <laughs> present. Thank you. You're welcome. So that is a happy Petra. Let's go talk to the uh, robot. Hi, Dimitri. 
Okay, I can't talk to Dimitri. This town is so interesting. It's so different from societies back before the day of calamity. Different, but I still like it. It's so very simple. I'm, I'm not sure how to take that. I think she just called us simple. I think she meant it in the best possible way, though. All right. Oh man, so stressful with this dating and relationships thing. Let's go give Mint his, his breakfast because I think I forgot to give it to him before. Mm. Yeah, you better wake up enough to take this or it's going to land on your head. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. See, how asleep is Mint? He's only so asleep until you hand him his favorite soup and then he's awake enough to take it. <laughs> oh man. You gotta love these guys. All right, what have we got? I was working my way through the list of things to put in the museum, wasn't I? I was doing that as well. Uh, on top of the fish. Um, hey, how you doing, Millen? The data disks are very important for our research. Yes, and I have got one, just one, for you. I like this gift. Thanks. You're welcome. Minister Lee just misses out this time, unless he likes desk lamps. Seeing as I can't give him house lamps. I think I gave Mr. Yes, I gave Mr. Isaac a non-birthday bookmark. Spoken to Tuss, and I know I have a commission for um, Arlo, but Remy loves his his ah. his belts. He just walked a horse into me. Hang on a minute. We find some data discs from time to time. Ah, all right, I'll go looking for data discs, but first you get belts, okay? Here. I like it. You're very nice. You're very welcome. You know what I haven't played with? Ah, oh, Oaks. I forgot. Hi. How you doing? Yes, I have meat and mushroom stew, maybe. No, I don't, because I didn't have the meat, I think. Oh, man. Sorry, llamas. Where's my sword? And my chainsaw. And my axe. Oh, no, wrong movie. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, I'm really sorry, llamas. You know what? We should tame a llama, and then we should murder the llamas and tame the big white llama as well. I just forget exactly what it needs. I think it's um golden golden something. I'm just going to grab a few bits of meat. All right, I'm pretty sure I've got salt but I can't remember which uh, which box it's in so we might um, just take out another swarm of llamas and then uh, then grab some salt from Sophie's. Oh I always feel so bad about killing those guys. That's why I get the uh, the civil court to do it. Did I leave? Yeah, I have. I've left the pig behind. Again. As you can go. Alright, we're going to go see Mr. McD. Give him his bucket, because he likes them. And actually, that was something I wanted to see, was whether or not we'd, we'd reach that point in relationships where we have any missions for him. I'm good. How are you, Mr. Hi. McD? My Rambo oh, is going to win the title of Mr. Bull this year. You can bet on it. Uh-huh. Here you go. Uh, I have for you... Where are they? A wooden bucket. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I think also we, we might... No, we won't pick up any meat yet. I might do that another time. Okay, Granny Sophie, not feeding the ducks this time of day. She's usually inside, eat where it's warm. There we go. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Emily loves my home cooking. I know, right? And I have for you a bucket. That sounded ungrateful, but there you go. Wow, I've always wanted this. I, I just get the feeling their reactions are all out of proportion with um with the value of the present. It's just a bucket, but for them it's something so much more. I think I need about a hundred of these as well. I probably need more, but I'll grab a hundred just in case. Uh, and I'll I have to make sure the fertilizer tanks are full. Alrighty. So a leather belt commission. Where's Arlo? Oh, I know where Arlo is. Oops, I'm going to crash his crash his date with uh, Nora. Oops, 
that's okay I could give Nora flowers in apology that might work so it's a it's an afternoon I used to think it was just a Saturday or Sunday afternoon but uh, it's most afternoons you can find Arlo down here by the lake chatting with Nora he seems to spend a fair amount of time with her here you go hi how you doing I've got your commission uh, I will that's fine and um, hey hey Nora how you doing I actually quite like the winter but it marks the end of a year yeah but also the coming of a new beginning that's got to be exciting right uh, all right anyway I brought you flowers there you go thanks for the gift you're welcome it's it's only a four with her but I haven't found anything she likes better if you're ever short of poo for your fertilizer and you don't want to buy it from Granny Sophie the fertilizer not the poo uh, you can always take poop out of Mr. McDonald's fields and he doesn't seem to get at all cross about it so um, why am I doing it I don't know <laughs> it's just just something I think while I fret over mint um, all right so Arlo's Arlo has had his co commission delivered we're waiting on mint it's it's past closing time for the uh, for the guys but it's only 1829 I mean how full is my backpack I know if you could have a dollar for every time I ask that you'd probably be quite well off uh, hmm. Oh, I know what we're doing. We have to go find Mr. Ack first. And Emily. Hello. How you doing? Try hanging out with my friends sometime. Okay. They're really nice people. Ah, there you go. I have for you a pumpkin pie. It smells too good to eat. Oh, man. You probably went without lunch, so I'd suspect you probably should eat it. All right, where are we at? Ah, Mr. Ack. Mr. Ack. Hey, how you doing? Mr. Django showed me around his Oh, and I forgot to make you more pots. I'm really sorry. Um, that's right. Can I get you to cook for me anyway? Look, one is enough. What am I missing? Oh, he only uses red mushrooms. That's right. So if we're going to get the other variations of mushroom... Actually, hang on a minute. Hey! Hey. All right, so basically I think I need to know how to make some of these. And if I know how to make it, I can share it with him. I, I could be wrong about that, so I'm just going to have to try it out. So we might we might have to work out some of the meat and mushroom variants. So Mr. Ack has, a, has options. Let's go find Bear Boy, our oaks. And uh, tomorrow we might try and make some more meat and mushroom stew so that um all right not gonna risk spoiling them as a surprise i'm gonna avoid mint for them <laughs> for the moment sorry sweetheart not avoiding you much where is okay he's over that way see i also feel bad about um destroying the llamas because oaks likes to dance with them <clears throat> so dancing with the llamas is um, one of his things and i don't like spoiling that Hey. When I first came to Portia, I thought it to be a strange place. But now, it just feels like home. Oh, there you go. And I have for you... Where is it? Meat and mushroom stew. He became my buddy. Alright. So, a couple of things. It's the golden ginseng that we need for the trap for the big llama. But I think, I've, have I got a stable? I do, and it's empty. So, in here, I need lettuce and cumin for the colourful llama. And for the cotton llama, I need apples, aroma apples, and golden ginseng. And I think the place to... And I need to, of course, I need a trap. Oh, feed the fish. Oh, no, no, no. Not take the fish out. Put the fish in and then feed it. You... But where'd the salmon go? There he is. And where's the fish food? There it is. All right, we might do a fish check while we're here. I know, it's a squirrel moment. It'll be fine. And six. 
six. All right, these guys probably need another 50 feed. There we are. Okay, let's check it out. Make sure no one else is hungry. Oh, of course, you guys are hungry now. What is this? Feed the fish for time. I know. And this one. Okay. All right, we're done with that. Just check these big fellows out. Make sure they're not hungry. And we better not forget the ones by the gate. They look good. Okay. All right. What was I doing before I got sidetracked by the fish? Um. Hmm. Well, I am going to need to buy probably a double bed. Pretty sure you can't get married with a single bed, so we may have to go splash out on a double bed. Um. And. I was going to go down the mines, maybe not tonight. Let's just sort everything in here. Sort this up and double check on things like sapphires, poplar wood, poles. Okay, so that's all done. We need to go. See, look, the ship is there. It just doesn't show up in your gifting. Okay, well, that's a pain. Because, I mean, I know Petra likes it, and um, I was pretty sure one of the boys should like it as well, maybe. But uh, that's fine. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, tasks for the future. I need to finish my Cristella trees, because I think this surrounded by Cristella trees would be magical. And then we're going to do an inner inner lining of, um, of more fertilizer stuff, actually. Speaking of fertilizer, let's check the status. All right, good. And if you notice, all of these beds are fertilized because they're linked in to the um, to the tank, so you don't need to worry about it. Whereas these guys, okay, they're they're fertilized because Mr. Act comes around and does it in the morning. But these ones should still be fertilized because they're attached to the tank. So. Uh, which reminds me, I should put the fertilizer away so Mr. Act can use that. I don't remember one tank uh, doing oops, doing all of that. So let's sort all. Okay, so small daggers for Miss Lucy because she likes them even more than necklaces or close to. Uh, and a lot of stuff for selling. And we have a whole back area there for things. So the choice is... At 22.57, do we wish to go and slay monsters? What's our health food like? So I've got two of those. That's stamina. I'm thinking we might actually be a bit light on with the health food stuff for slaying monsters. Yeah, so maybe not slaying monsters tonight, in which case we're going to go fishing. I feel like there was something else I thought I was going to do and I just can't remember what it is, which is a problem. If I didn't know any better, I'd say I was getting old. Oh, that's right. I was going to make a trap. I knew that. And we were going to see if we could catch ourselves a colourful llama because I have done that once in all of the hours I played, but I haven't done it recently. So um, let's go and build a trap. And we can have a llama mount even if we don't ride him because I'd like to explore that part of the game. Pretty sure I need an advanced trap box or is it just a trap box I need? Alright, let's try a trap box. We'll craft up one of those. And then in case it's not the right thing, we'll craft up an advanced one. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's only for trapping rogue knights. And it doesn't work very well, so um, maybe not that one. All right, we'll grab those, uh, and then I guess I better see if I've got uh, if I've got any lettuce. What was it? Lettuce and cumin, which is probably in my ingredients box. So we'll just sort all the bits over that we need to. Alrighty. OK, 
Okay, I know it says relics. I'm pretty sure we can get into the food box from here. Actually, that's not what we're after, though. Okay, it's that. It's an irrigation tower. Okay, that's our fertilizer tower. We don't need to buy one of those. And I've got some of those and some of these. All right, so that's that's our planting. There's our fertilizer. Okay. But there's no... Yeah, there's no lettuce. So I might have to wait till spring. There's our cumin. And some apricots. But, um... But there's no... All right. Sigh. So I guess we might have the trap box, but we don't have the bait. So we're going to have to wait till spring, and then we can either buy the bait from Grandma Sophie's, or we can um, or we can grow the bait. We might as well put our... Yep, yeah, so we need a trap box for the normal llama, and an advanced trap box for the big llama. Alrighty. Oh, I'm just going to have to... I don't know. I might put that in my ingredients box. It'll annoy me every time I see it. And I'll be like, what is that doing in there? And that'll just remind me that I need to catch a llama. So, just grab that, pop that across. And pop that across. And the cumin is in there, that's fine. Alright, so we're just short on lettuce. And also we're short on a golden... It's not a cucumber. It's a, um... Not a radish. Oh, man. Not helpful, brain. All right. It is a bit late. I know I said before that midnight was not a good time to, to try heading out to the ruins. But I tell you what, if they won't let us in, we'll, um... There we go. Oh, and we need red mushrooms. If they won't let us in, we'll go to, um... We'll go down to the Somber Marsh Ruins. It doesn't look like we're in, we're in luck when it comes to... Um, where are my ruins? There we are. Oh, there's my mushrooms. This is what we're after, just a few of these. Okay, we're after all of the ones we can find. That's pretty much it. And I've lost my sense of direction, so I'm probably not going to make it to the... No, we're not going to make it to the ruins, that's fine. We might make it over to the Somber Marsh and do a bit of mining, though. So we're going to try and make um, more meat and mushroom stew for, for oaks. And then what we're going to do... You know what? Oh, I was going to say I could probably make it home from here for a change and actually fall asleep in my bed, but I uh, oh will. Uh, anyway, if we can make some meat and mushroom stew, we'll see if it's one of oaks' favourite things and uh, check it out. I'll at least tuck down in here before we sleep. Yeah, no, I don't think we're going to make it. I'll land in time to... <laughs> I hope that was a comfortable piece of copper sticking out of the ground there. Oh, man. Experience gained by helpers, 1010. That's because they pick up stuff for us and make it already. Oh, I'm so glad we have an upstairs space. That is awesome. Oh, good morning, Scraps. How you doing? Would you like some fish? You would like some fish. I've got to go fishing for bladefish too. Oh, Pinky, just because she didn't get fed first. Here, no need to scratch up the couch. Evil cat. Right, and we also need to buy a double bed. I knew this. Good morning. I originally came to say goodbye properly. <sighs> but that's not what I really want. Okay. Run away with me. Okay. Huh? 
I know, I know. It's a lot to ask. I know you wouldn't want to leave your workshop, so I thought breaking it off was the only option. I'll run away with you any day. But while I was thinking it over, I realized I shouldn't just make that choice for you. <laughs> but when I think about leaving you, I just hurt all over. Oh, man. So you come with beggar. me. I'll work hard at my commissions to support both of us, so you wouldn't have to worry about anything. I promise I'll do everything in my power to make you happy. No, that is And strange. someday, we can get married, have a family. Do you want to come? Yeah, I'll pack my things. Now wait just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Mayor Gale. I think he's mad at me now. Mint, where have you been? I've been looking for you for days. Mr. Gale? What are you doing here? I saw your goodbye note and had a feeling I'd find you here. Why didn't you tell me you were worried about finding work? I didn't want to impose upon you further. Oh, Mint, I'm your father now. What's there to impose within a family? If you have something on your mind, you can always come see me. I'll always support you. I'm so sorry. I should have told you sooner. Now, I have good news for you. <laughs> I have a position available at my office, the mayor's assistant. It's for helping me with all the work building up Portia. It's yours if you want. Oh, here we go. Really? Uh-huh. Of course. With your work ethic and how much you contributed to our town, you were always my first choice for the position. I... I'll take it. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Come, let's go take a look at your new office. Excellent. Well, that's not something I expected to wake up to this morning. You know, personally prepared your office for you. Surprise! I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gale. What's this Mr. Gale I keep on hearing? I thought I told you I'm your father <laughs> now. Let's hear it. I don't think I added balloons. Papa Gale. Oh, wow. Somehow it doesn't sound right, but I'll take it. <laughs> And hopefully someone else will be calling me that as well in the not too distant future. Oh, you did right? not. Uh, um. You have done so much for me. I don't think I'll ever deserve you. I'll work hard and make you happy. Do you want to build a family with me? Yes. Hey, hey, that's not how you're <laughs> supposed to propose. It's got to be more endearing. <laughs> Go ask Gust for some advice. Sure. Then I'll prepare myself for another day. Wait for oh me. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Um, I'm running away now. <laughs> you should propose. Sure. Hey. No, that's not how you do it. Uh, right. So there's a couple of things that I, that I haven't done that uh, you probably need to do before you get married in this game. And uh, one of those is to buy a double bed because otherwise you can't get married. So... Let's go to Paulie, who I'm sure will not tell anybody. And we'll um we'll just get going. What's that? It's a plain bed. That's a hardwood double bed. That looks good. That looks like the only option we've got. Let's buy one of those. Uh, right. And I guess. Let me see. 39526. Let's buy one of those as well because. Man, he's already going on about raising a family, so that's fine. Okay. Alrighty, and I hope you guys aren't having trouble seeing me on that uh, on that Twitch stream there. It looks like something's happened. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking over at the screen. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> we are gonna head out to uh, out to the house and uh, refurnish it properly so we don't get caught short unprepared because so far I've been pretty much unprepared for this scenario the entire way through we'll check the box that's pretty good uh, no that's not the house and I was going to turn uh, the house sideways wasn't I so that we didn't have this fake set of stairs but then that set of stairs ends up being into the fence which is a bit of a, a problem okay let's wander this way uh, and wanted this way. I suppose we should probably pick that up. So we'll F that one and R to go into the backpack. Head this way. Grab, I don't know, where is it? This thing. Pop that down there somewhere. Hmm. 
What else did I buy? Oh, I don't know if I want to stick a crib up here first up. It's kind of off-putting, isn't it? So there's the plane. You know, maybe I'll just be a coward and run around with that in my backpack for a bit. Uh, there we go. So we'll grab this. Now I'm going to do that same weird dance, trying to get this to tuck its way in. Where's the pillow? Up there. All right. Let's uh, move it and alter the cat No. Not in the wall, Talina. That's not how you place a bed. Okay, try again. Alrighty, that might have to do us, I think. Ah, oh, see, that's going to drive me crazy. I want to go one set of squares that way, not two, just one. There we are, and now I want to do it back this way because I'm not fussy. <laughs> oh, really? No. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, you know, this looks really bare up here. Let's go see if I've got a dressing table or something downstairs. You know, like that. Let's grab that and tuck that in our pack. Oh, it tucked away the flowers as well. I like that. All right. And we'll pop that over here. Maybe use tea to turn it around. I remember when I didn't know how to use tea and I used to just try and always you know stand on the wall or something <laughs> to uh, to get it to work it never used to uh, work anywhere near as well where did those flowers go oh no I've lost my flowers oh wait no I haven't let's put them down there uh, E to open right click the flowers across because they just look so pretty on the dressing table all right and uh okay grab that one and R it grab that one oops and R for that and you It's like, I remember how much of a pain these were to put up, but uh, that's okay. Hopefully Mint doesn't mind fossils and lanterns, and I need to put in another dressing table. So this is interesting. Let's uh, get this done. Let's head back over to here. There we go. Looks like it's resetting. So sorry for the break, guys. Hopefully that won't affect uh, things too much. We uh, have just bought a double bed and put it in the house. And now what we're doing is decorating the, putting the decorations from downstairs back upstairs, just to see how that all goes. Okay. I've lost my lamps. Is it all lights out? No, I don't think so. Let's check it. There they are. All right, well, we're not decorating the place with pasta sauce, so I don't know if this is an appropriate decoration. Maybe it's not going to let me center it now, is it? That's that's going to be painful. Oh, fine. Give me the bed. Yeah, I think maybe two spaces and T to turn it so it's around the other way. Yes. Uh, maybe it should have been one space. I don't know. Let's try this trick again. Okay. Okay, it's never going to center. Fine, that's going to drive me crazy. But we'll do our best. Let's just pop these over here. Really? Really? All right, this bed is being a menace. We'll pick that up. We'll stick it in our backpack and now we'll try and put this back on the wall. There we go. And we'll go with our eights. Put our lamps up. One here and one here. All right, so tip to all you interior decorators in Porsche. Put the bed down last or you're going to have trouble placing your objects. Where did I put the bed? Uh-oh, I've lost it. Oh, no. The 
game eat my sleeping place no it's in here somewhere and i'm just too blind to see it there it is look at that we're really easy to see too <sighs> okay oh gosh now we do the whole bed dance again <laughs> this is driving me crackers okay f to pick it up move it over one t to turn it so the pillow's up the right end Alrighty. And that is as centered as we're going to get it. That's fine. Let's just grab our, um, our thing. Move it over. We're going to have to go make ourselves another one of these because otherwise it's not going to match. They're not going to be sad. So we'll pop that there. All right, let's go make ourselves another one of whatever that was. You know what? We can put the crib down here. Kid won't mind sleeping underneath the fossil, right? Uh, where did we go? Where did we go? There it is. Grab that, pop it down here. Do, do, do. Pop that in the corner. Maybe have a night light. I don't know whether that's a good idea. It might keep them awake all night. All right, well, it's done now. Let's go and find ourselves a dressing table or a night table, whatever it happens to be called in the factory. All right, so we've got that bit done. Something tells me I may have, I may have, um, oh, and I have to make Mr. Ack his pot, or five. I may have jumped the gun a bit buying a wedding ring, but um, we'll see. Like I said, I'm not risking asking him to marry me until, until we're completely in love, although I don't think that's in question anymore. Let's try that. So pop, ah, uh, there's my salt. And Mr. Ack will never find it in here, so let's just move that over uh, so we've got maybe maybe we'll split that so we'll shift left click that I'm going to take maybe 250 out uh, confirm that we'll just go up to the end where the other bits are Oops. all right that'll go over into there I'm going to see if Minister Lee likes waterproof lamps because he doesn't like um, wall lamps so I'm not sure I know he likes some kind of lamp now, what was I here for? Let's sort that all up. Um, hmm. All right, what commission did I have? Okay. We were here to create furniture, and then we had furniture to sell. I knew that. It's so easy to lose track in this game of what you're doing. All right, let's make 10 of those. We can sell the spares. I'm pretty sure I'm short on uh, sapphires when it comes to making fish tanks, but we will double check on that. Yeah, we're short on sapphires. I need four of them. All right, let's just grab all of those. There's no change table in this game. Or maybe there is and I haven't found it. That, that would also be logical. I'm still really thrilled with the um, the new date spot that we found. That's that's very cool. It's a it's a very cool spot. So I either haven't played enough before to, to trigger it, or um, or it's a relatively new ad. Okay, let's go with the. All right, so I have the chest of drawers and the flowers in that row. What am I doing? the seven and T to turn go for five E to open okay you don't need to select it in the hot bar you just need to remember to open up the drawers all right and I th that will probably do us for now wait for mail for mince heart I really hope he is not putting that in the post because that would be gross Okay, we forgot to check the price of fish. Okay, I forgot to check the price of fish. But then again, I don't have any extra fish to sell, so that's probably not a bad thing. All right, we can also need to check the chickens. Apart from not being patted, they look okay. Well, I have one extra fish in here. There, yeah, that's just one fish. All right, we're not going ruins diving because I haven't made enough healing materials. 
So I probably need to get some salmon for some creamy salmon stew. Uh, I was going to say hi to Pinky then. Pretty sure I did my commission. No, I didn't do my commission. I got pounced on in the morning and completely forgot it. Let's go grab a commission. Hopefully Higgins left us one. Oh, he left us two. A wicker basket, 110 and 1137. 109 and 1272 for waterproof lamps. You know, I can fill either of those. Let's grab that. Um, yeah. And we're going to see if Minister Lee liked, uh, liked his waterproof lamps. So we'll check that out as well. Somewhere in here. There we go. Okay, let's go find... All right, I think we're finding Remington at the moment. Hey, Scraps. Lucy, how you doing? Toby is a troublemaker, there's no doubt about it. Uh-huh, that makes me very worried about giving you one of these. Here you go. Is that? Yep. Miss Lucy, the primary school teacher who is a collector of daggers. Don't upset Miss Lucy. Hi. You can't beat home-cooked food on a cold night. No, you can't. When were you doing dinner? Is that? Wow, I like it. A feather duster. You know, if, if I gave anyone I know a feather duster, I'd probably end up getting swatted with it. Mr. Hello. Lee, how are you doing? The church has a very large botanic research center and maybe... Oh, that's exciting. Um, what else is exciting is light, and you don't like those. So, do you like... And that's, that's another object that disappears when I try and gift it, is the, um, is the waterproof lamp. I was pretty sure he didn't like wall lamps. I'm going to give him that anyway, just to make sure. No, see, he really doesn't like wall lamps. Uh, Nora. I don't want to donate anything, I just want to say hi to you. Hey! Hey, how you doing? I kind of want to adopt Pinky. But living in the happy apartment makes it hard. That's okay. She can stay with me until you find a place of your own. Um, stock up on fish. All right, what do you like? At the moment, you I know you like those, so... A present? Thank you! You're welcome. It's more than I had before. Uh, I think I still have some topazes hey. back. How are you doing? I've been studying hard recently. If I were to start my own clinic, I'll need to understand many of the diseases and their symptoms. That's pretty much correct. You could be Dr. Phyllis instead of Nurse Phyllis. Now, Phyllis likes these, but she also, I, I remember now, likes these. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. See? Okay. Oh yeah, I should probably go and finish my commission off. Hey, Mars. Whoops. Ow. Ow, ow. Sorry, I did not mean to run you over. I should have known he'd stop, because that's kind of his front door. Sonia, on the other hand, I think likes vegetable salad, Hi. which is hard to make Emily without lettuce leaves. Emily introduced me and Anton to a new natural lotion she came up with recently. She is pretty good, Emily. All right, uh, for you, we are stuck on these until spring. Whoa. This is like my favorite thing in the whole wide world! You know me so well! You're very welcome. There you go. Okay. And we are heading over to Remy. Hi Remy! How you doing? Okay, I will not forget to ask you for help. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? The Flying Pigs is the best exploration community. Uh-huh. And I have the best stew in the region. Thank you so much. I really like it. You're welcome. All right. I also wanted to see if um, Oaks liked mushroom stew, meat and mushroom stew, but I, I forgot to ask the uh, Mr. Ack if he would make it for us. So if he's still around, we might ask him very nicely for another lot of meat and mushroom stew. No, he's not around. Okay, I suspect he's in the happy apartments. This way. Alright, hey May, I have a photo hey. album for you. There 
there's some really scary stuff going on in the world. But it's even scarier when people don't know about it. I've got to make sure the people of Portia stay informed. Uh-huh. There are pros and cons to that. Here, have a uh, photo a album. photo album! <laughs> this is great! Shall we get a photo together to put on the first page? If you want. Nope, change your mind. I don't blame you. Now, Mr. Ack. Oh, he's not home. I wonder where he goes this time of day. It's not something I've worked out yet. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's, um... Let's wander this way. Give Alice Hello. her necklace. The snow is so beautiful. It is, and here's something that will remind you this of it. This is beautiful. How did you know I love this? Um, it was a good guess. Call it a good guess. Uh, I'm out of discs and robots, so maybe I should probably spend the rest of the evening hunting for relics. Hey, Toby. Hey, you. Hi. How you doing? I went with Polly to visit Old Man Isaac the other day. They talked about boring stuff <laughs> for so long that I fell asleep. Oh, no. Toby. Here, have a slingshot. You're really welcome. I know, call me the irresponsible builder. But if he's going to go fighting monsters, he might as well know how to use it. I think that kid can outshoot me too, given that I haven't practiced with a slingshot. Alrighty, let's head into abandoned ruins too. And uh, just see what we can find before we fall asleep. Because we, we now are in pretty desperate need of discs. And I'm not sure what our iron supply is like. My gosh, we're also short on space. What's that? That's worth 50, isn't it? 51. All right. All right, let's just shunt all of this up here. This will help me keep an eye on what we're, what we're digging. Probably don't need salt in the first row. Uh, where? There we go. All right. All right, I think we're good. There is a marker on my ah <laughs> on my map. Man, I just fell down a hole. Which I dug, which I guess makes it worse. All right, there is a marker on my map. That says I should dig about here. Let's go F for find me treasure. Oh, okay. That would be why I have a marker on my map. Nifty. Oh, where do I want to start? Gosh. Maybe right in that big patch of iron ore? Possibly. Okay, parts box, iron bucket. Soldier with a blade, piece five. Duck on a king, piece two. What if I go over here? All right, we definitely want to start maybe about here. So F for find me treasure is off and three for drill. Aha, uh -huh, looks like I've been in this space before. Soldier with an axe. I think actually last time I was here I fell asleep in this space. Actually, where's that? Alright, let's grab that while we're really close to it. And grab that while we're really close to it. We would have missed the other one otherwise. And then have a look. Power lamp, piece two, parts box. Soldier with a blade, piece five. All right, let's go. F you know what? We probably need the parts boxes as well. Okay, but we will just grab that while we can see it. So my, my main objective, I guess, with this is this is part of... Ooh, iron. This is part of finding um, all the relics in Abandoned Ruins 2 for the museum. The good thing is once you've done enough digging, you can generally run to get closer to something and have less digging to do. Oh wow, look at this. 
huge piece of iron. Hang on a minute. Are we just iron ourselves a bit of space? Never let a chance go by. Incidental mining is the best thing. I was hoping for a cooking recipe data chip number one, because that's the one chip we're missing for Mr. Ack uh, with his cooking recipes. I just haven't found it yet. I'm not sure why. Um, all right, where's that? Up there. Oh, of course it is. Man, not good. All right, let's fly a bit closer. Oh, no, 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 not a bit further, a bit closer. Gosh. All right, now I thought I saw a spear somewhere. It's getting late. No, it's not allowed to be getting late. I have things to find and dig up and stuff. All right, that's what we're looking for. I'm probably not going to make it, but we can try. Of course, if I get up close to the rock, oops, it helps a lot better. And away we go. Alright, where's the next? We might make the tempering liquid. I mean, it's the closest treasure, we might as well go for it. No, there we go, and we're out. Oh dear.